Hey there, clan. Sorry for the uh, delay on this. Uh, well, this month's been kind of hectic. Um, but yeah, this is another Warriors D&D player vlog, this one. And we're going to be talking about my bard Clef and where we left him off last time in his adventure. Uh, where the party had successfully summoned the big bad that had been basically harassing us for the entire length of our entire campaign so far. <laughs> and we're going to be talking about him a little bit. And basically the big bad boss battle that we had and what happened in the aftermath of that. It was an, an it was one heck of an interesting experience because I had to think of like what would it would do because I had the chance to control this thing like literally just tell it to do something and it would do it and uh, yeah it was rather interesting to think of like what do I use as the command that's the main thing it was just one of those like I had to think long and hard and I, was, I couldn't think of anything and it ended up coming down to basically me Cliff basically going. Um, Reveal to me your true name and grovel before your new master. And I succeeded the check by like one. So I did control him for a little bit, but it was not the best wording. And even even the DM says it's a fairly weak command. And I went, yeah, I panicked. <laughs> uh, Cliff panicked in the moment because if I was thinking more, now that I think about it, probably some of the lines like, um, reveal to me your true name and do not use any magic as long as you're here or something along those lines may have been helpful. Um, but yeah, it was uh, rather interesting to do that um, because it was an interesting fight because what happened was basically our paladin did everything. <laughs> um, our paladin, of course, who specializes in dealing with these fiendish little creatures, just went up there and within two rounds of combat did at least 200 if not 300 points of damage with divine smites and attacks and oh my this thing did not did not last very longer than we expected um it could have went a lot worse though because what i had cliff do was he went behind a rock laid down on his back to get i think it was three quarters cover and counter spell that's all he did he kept, that was pretty much all cliff did for the entirety of that fight and also tanking a little bit by taking a lot of the aggro from the um, Nefers because basically as soon as it tried to get its fourth level spell off, which would have been a bit of a frightening presence kind of thing, um, Clef just kept a spell level four. It didn't like that because it kept firing, uh, I think it's chill touch at Clef. <laughs> and thankfully the three quarters cover helped dodge a few of those and... I mostly used the counter spells I had on his cantrips because he was really only using cantrips on a lot of it. No, I mean, he was actually was a fairly doing a decent chunk of damage. He took out one orc who was doing no damage and he landed a critical on our paladin, Sheila, um, which Clef just went counter spell. <laughs> and yeah, the Nevers kept firing every legendary action, just kept firing those rays at Clef just to be like, Fuck you, fuck you, die, die, die. Um, he did also do a spell on Clef called Ren Soul, I believe as it was called. This was a wee while ago, so I might be forgetting the spell name. Which, uh, if I remember, did it deal exactly half of your total hit points and damage to you. And half of Clef's hit points was 17. He had 18 hit points left at that point. So, I think even the, even, even the DM was just like, and you fall unconscious, and I have one hit point left. And even he was like, the fuck? <laughs> so it was a, it was an interesting turn of events. I did have Death Ward on me, thanks to Arma, our cleric. Um, so we were, uh, he did eventually get knocked down, but he got back up again. Uh, and didn't get knocked down again, but the Nefers, thanks to Sheila, and also um, Alistair, our rogue, who just kept hiding, hiding, firing, firing... We were fucking this thing up pretty royally, and it it was not to say it was easy because it was still a pretty tough fight. We got really lucky with some of our rolls, and eventually the Nefers did pop pop away with Planescape. Uh, but the Iker, the Orc, I want to say leader, but maybe like an Orc or elder, um, had Plane Shift thankfully and teleported us all to where he was. He tried another fourth level frightening spell. And counter spell, I think I rolled a 25 to cancel it. So I cancelled it. And we fucked him up royally. Sheila got the final killing blow. And we successfully killed the big bad that had been hunting us all this time. Now, 
out, out of character, I had probably thought that he was going to be a bit of a glass cannon. That he was kind of like Batman in a sense. If he had time to prepare and constantly basically get these undead armies towards us, we were fucked. But if we caught him by surprise, which we did by summoning him, he was fairly challenging, but he was kind of a little bit easy to an extent. But that's mostly due to the fact that we have a paladin. If we didn't have a paladin, I don't think we would have lasted much. Would have lasted long against this guy. Um, it was just a really good set of roles, good per good set of improvisation planning. But we finally beat this asshole who'd been hunting us for so long. And at the end of the battle when we killed him, the spirits of the creatures that he had been eating and devouring over the past wee while all appeared to our characters and just slowly faded away, including a character who we knew in um, the dwarf town where we are currently exiled and may or may not be have a bounty on our heads. We're unsure at the moment. Um... But yeah, that was a it was an interesting development, and it was a nice touching moment. And then Marble, the uh, goddess that basically brought us back to life, and is also the patron of Clef, uh, as his cl clerical level, um, basically just said to us that you've d you've taken care. It was a very beautiful worded speech that I am going to not and not attempt to butcher, um, but worded it in a sense that basically we've done one task, we've got two more left. Uh, the second task is to go and find the heir of the realm that we are in, uh, the last living heir to the like it's the throne, basically, in the world we're in. And our party was just like, oh, fuck, that was bad. Um, thankfully, after that, we just pay, kind of said to the orcs, look, we appreciate it, uh, peace out, we are leaving. And we were heading back to Angbar to try and basically get back... Um, to the place to help out the people who we were initially and helped out with the Tears of Dessa. Um And yeah, it was an interesting like, little walk uh, back. We had a little bit, a couple of character discussions, which was good. But then we got back to the town and we sent a, Alma sent a sending spell to one of the people in there saying, hey, we're on our way back. How's the person who were coming to help with the Tears of Dessa? Um And then we found out that a, that a small, say, I want to say half dozen, if not maybe more, a group of or not orcs, dwarfs, um, have come to the town looking for us and are being absolute dicks to the people. Uh, including one we've met before who is rather pissed off at us, the fact that I think her relative died to the undead horde that we accidentally set up on their city. Um, and they blame us for it. We're currently, they want us for murder and heresy. Which I'm pretty sure is a death sentence. Uh, so yeah, the dwarfs there are not too happy with us. <laughs> And we basically stayed in the outskirts of town, talked with a couple people, had someone from the town meet us, discuss it. And initially we were just going to give the tears of Tsar, get it to the person, and then they could leave. Then we'd leave. We wouldn't bother them. But then we found out that the dwarf were being dicks. Because, you know, dwarf and dicks kind of mesh together. Um, so yeah, that was a... The, instantaneously, pretty much all of us just went... Yeah, we need to fuck them up. Um, mostly we're going to try and talk with them. It's probably going to turn into a fight. Uh, we did level up though, so Claire, Clef is now, everyone else is level 8. Uh, now I think uh, 2 is multi-class, I'm not sure, I think she's Ranger Druid. And uh, Clef is 7, finally has 4th level spells and 1 level Cleric. So, 4th level spells, fun, yay. Um, but yeah, we basically ended the session with us sitting a couple of, about a mile or so out of town, telling the dwarves, hey, come here, we're right here. And the plan is to try and talk with them, but our party, whenever we talk, it tends to go bad. Um, so yeah, it's, it's an interesting little thing to basically see what's going to happen. That's why I want to know what's going to happen. Like, how is this going to go? And it's all going to come down to the rules. I want to see what's going to happen. And yeah, I'm a little worried because uh, Clef may do something that he was planning on doing a little sooner, but we'll see what happens. Um, because he's the one who killed someone as they were escaping with a chromatic orb to the face of ice, which caused their head to fall off. So Clef feels a little gilly for that. Um, we'll see what the dwarves say. We're going to try and talk our way out of it, um, which this party is known for and can do everything with. Um, so yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, we've got the session in the next couple of days and I'll try and get the vlog for that one out sooner than I did this one. Um, but yeah, um, that's where we are at the moment. I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Clef. Um, 
I definitely want to see what's going to happen with these dwarves because it's going to determine what's going to happen with Clef. Because Clef's one of the more interesting characters I've played. Kim, my dwarf monk, was fun. Clef has been rather interesting to develop his character a little bit more. And I'm, in, I'm, I'm excited to see what's going to happen. So we'll see. I'm hopeful that he won't die. Uh, but he is a squishy, squishy boy. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think that's where I'll wrap things up there. I hope you've enjoyed this, and please do let me know if you have any stories from your D&D campaigns of players or DM stories. Feel free to see them in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!